Hey, what's up, y'all? This your man, Bobby Washington from Bobby Washington Vlogs. Please subscribe and click the notification bell. And I'm going to give you a quick video here on how to cascade or connect or link together two fader port 8s. Um, you can do this also with 16s, with 1 8, two 16s, and so forth. So basically, here's one of my fader port 8s, and here's the other, right? I'm going to pretty soon have them side by side, but I got them separated for now. So... What you need to do is first plug them both up to the back of the computer, USB. Then you want to go inside Studio One. Now, I'm not sure this works with any other program, but I know it works with Studio One. So you go to Studio One, you come into these, these um, external device settings. External device settings, then you want to go to Add. Then make sure you choose the right one here from Personas. You got different selections. You got uh, Fader Port 2018, the regular Fader Port. You have to pick the right one. Mines are eight, so I picked two eights. So I put two eights over here, and then I went to the first one. I'm sorry, I went to the second one first. I went to the second one first, and I selected, I press edit, and then I press here. Fader port, right here, one, right? And then I made the bottom match the same. Let me do it again. I made the bottom match the same. So both of them um, selected that. Then the next one, you, do, you go press edit, and then you hit the two. You see, you got one, two. Hit that for both receive and send. Once you connect those together, then you want to go here to placement. Placement, you're going to have two here. You're going to drag these up here. All right? And you can have them, if they're in the wrong order, you can switch them around. But you're going to notice the one on my left started at, uh, you can't really see it because it's kind of blurry, but it started at, Number uh, track number nine, which is wrong. That means the one to my right is track number one. So I want to rearrange them. You can't really see it unless I darken the screen some kind of way. Well, I, I get closer. Yep. See that? That's just track one. That should be on my left side. So in order for me to do that, I gotta switch these two around. So all you do is grab it and drag it to the left. And now track one is over here, and it goes to track eight, and then it comes over here to track nine. Right? So that's how you cascade them together. And let's see if they work. Let's see if they work. So let's, uh, let's play this track here. Let's play this track here. I'm just gonna, gonna mute the lead here and I'll just play the backgrounds and, and that. Um, I think both of the, let me see if both of these work, the loops. Yep, when I turn this loop on, it turns that one off. See it going on and off over there? Yep, see? I'm hitting the other one. <laughs> So they're, they're all linked together. So I'm gonna rewind it, and I'm gonna press play, right? Press play. Right, press play. And then I wanna see if I move track one here, what if I press mute, right, on track one here or solo? So I'm pressing solo right here, and I'm on track one. So let's see if it correlates here. Yep. Track one is that, perfect. So let's move over to the second one. Let's unsolo that, right? Let's go over to the second one. And this should be track nine, right? Let's solo it. Track nine, let's see if it correlates. Yep, track nine it is. It's the LD hi-hat track number nine. Right here, you see that it's track number nine, right there. Yep, so it works. So what happens if I go to the next menu? So we go to the next bank. So we go to the next bank, all right? So it goes all the way to 44 here. Is that bank or channel? That's bank. 40, from nine to 44, let's go to channel. Let's see what happens. 10, okay, so, so bank moves all the way over because I'm on that one. Let's see if I move the bank over here, see what happens. Yep, 17. So I gotta move the, I have to move the bank on here, on the left one, to go to the right next numbers. So the last number over there was 16. When I press the bank over here, it goes to 17. So that's right. If I press it again, that's what happens. Yep, it's in order. Yeah, it's in order. So you can't use the bank over here to the right one because it's going to push you way to the end. See? So 9, and then it goes uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Over here should be, let me see. When I go over here, let's press the bank again. That should be 24, it should be 25. All right, that goes to 44. Ah, I know I went to 44 because my 25, 
I have disabled. These are my background vocals right here. I see them right here at 25. I got them disabled, but I enable them. Now they'll be over here. Yep, they did it. It brought 25 here. Yeah, these are my background vocals that I don't really need now because I bounce them down to like a stereo pair. So when I do that, I kind of like, I keep the tracks there. I don't erase the tracks in case I need to go back and make some edits. So it skips over these and went right to 44 because those are the tracks that are, are next according to the lineup that's available. These are all grayed out and disabled. So 25 doesn't exist on this track sheet. If it was, then it would have had the right number over there. So I got it linked up correctly. This is how you do it, guys. Um, I'm glad I figured this out because I couldn't find a video online to do this. And it works. Right. And now I got them side by side and they look beautiful. Oh, yeah. See you in the next video. These three hats have three different meanings. I'm going to break them down hat by hat. This hat represents me, the family man, husband and father. This hat represents me, the musician, producer, singer, songwriter, street promoter. This hat represents me as a filmmaker, feature films and vlogging. These hats also represent where I'm from, Miami. The cliche, you're a jack of all trades, but somehow I managed to master all three. I'm Bobby Washington, and these are my vlogs.